Hello sunshine. God is not known around here for doing things quickly. He said soon to me once, nearly 20 years ago. He is, however, known for doing things thoroughly. My name is Anita and my life is about the pursuit of world-changing intimacy with the God of all things. Please consider sharing, clicking the buttons or the bells and subscribing or leaving me some feedback. I'd really love to hear from you. Any job God begins isn't done until every little part is turned over and examined for faults, cracks or flaws. He is the only one who can do these things perfectly. If Holy Spirit finds something in me which doesn't let the sun shine through, he wants to deal with it properly until you can't see the welds, the mends, the fixed up spots, and it all looks better than you. When he does this, I often forget that there was something wrong in the first place, which is a blessed relief in a lot of cases. It is written, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 17 and 18. I find it helpful and really feel quite a bit of relief to remember that God is not going to leave the not fun stuff alone until it's fixed. Because his timing doesn't happen yesterday, the way I sure would prefer he did things sometimes one of the things i find really helpful is to have on hand the picture god has given me of the way he sees me the person he made me to be and the purpose i was made for my reason and the names god alone calls me it's like having an anchor particularly because i haven't grown into the picture god has of me yet and it was particularly even before I understood the implications of those things on my life and the way I see myself. Being able to live in a place of trust, particularly when God says something about us which we don't believe about ourselves yet, is a surefire way to accelerate our maturity and bring about the breakthroughs we have been longing for. Again, it is written, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Mark chapter 9 verse 24. What does God say about you that you need to keep in the front of your conscious awareness? Are there descriptive words like beautiful, elegant, worthy, strong? Is it a mission statement? Defining verses? When we choose to take God at his word, when we take his words and speak them back to him, he will, give, he will not remain silent. In that moment, the word of God becomes what he intended it to be and all of heaven works to ensure it comes to pass. Sitting here inside time, we can feel like it's taking forever, but from where God sits, it has already happened and is already happening and will happen because he made time and isn't controlled by it. If you already have your defining words, your verses, a mission statement, prophetic words or other things, but you don't have them collected into one place, Maybe take the time to fish them out. Write them on cards and keep them in your wallet or handbag. If you don't feel like you have those yet, let's take time right now to ask God very specifically for them. Jesus, I want to be all the person you created me to be. Please share with me who you know me to be, your picture of who I am, so I can hold on to it while I am becoming all of who I am in you. Please set me up to win at this. It is written, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. Jeremiah 1 verse 5. And for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Psalm 139 verse 13. We aren't supposed to in, just endure this life waiting for heaven. God has always had you specifically in his mind and heart. There is a purpose for each of us. And we aren't supposed to try and figure that out by accident or by chance. It's written into our DNA, in the things we love, in the things we would choose to do if money wasn't an issue. If we had a thousand years to live and could do anything we wanted all the time. Also, we have Jesus and Holy Spirit. And if anyone knows what's going on, it's him. 
it is written if any of you lacks wisdom you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you James chapter 1 verse 5 Having a handle on our purpose, having words or verses to describe our personal mission statement, give us something to anchor ourselves to. When we know why we are here, we know what we need to say yes to and what it's okay to say no to. We understand better what fits with who God made us to be and what is someone else's responsibility. Jesus had a mission statement. He knew what he was here for. It's the verses he read out in the synagogue recorded in Luke chapter 4. He was reading from Isaiah 61 at the time. His example gives us the precedent to pursue that same understanding about ourselves and our place here. Ask him what's going on. He will tell you. God loves to engage with us, to do life with us, to share his heart with us. This could be the most revolutionary work we do with Jesus in our whole life. God bless you very much. I'll catch you again soon.